Assuming that the diodes in the circuit at figure P4.9 are ideal, find the values of the labeled voltages and currents. So, uh, assume one or both of the ideal diodes are on, and then you know see how the node voltages and currents coincide with how the um, with the um, proper uh, proper uh, operation of ideal diodes. So for A, uh, D1's gonna be off and D2's gonna be on, watch. Um, so if D1's off and D2's on, there's gonna be an open circuit, so the current's gonna be zero. And if, uh, this would be a short circuit. So if this were a short circuit, we could just kind of look at this branch and the current flowing through it. So the current flowing through it would be from three volts to negative three volts, divided by 18 kilo ohms. And that's 3.3 e to the negative 4 amps. And that would also be flowing through here. So uh, this voltage here, uh, let's find that out. You know, if this is a short, uh, if you have this current going through this resistor, you're going to have a 4 volt voltage drop. So here you're going to have negative 1 volt. And so this is a short, V would be negative 1 volt. And that lines up with the operation of an ideal diode. Uh, this is conducting forward. It's a short, no problem. And uh, this has a negative voltage here. And so it wouldn't be conducting in that way. And that works out. Uh, if you look at it like, hmm, what if we turn D1 on? Uh, if you turn D1 on, then this would be a short. So that would make this entire node uh, zero volts, right? Um, and if this entire node were zero volts, then we'd have a different current going through here. That current would be three minus zero divided by 12 kilo ohms, which is uh, 250 microamps. So you would have a current going here, 250 microamps. And then if you look at from zero volts here, right? Like in the case where we short and this is on, uh, if this was zero volts, then we'd have another current going this way uh, from zero to three divided by six kilo ohms that gives you 500 microamps and that wouldn't line up right because if you have 250 microamps in 500 microamps out you need 250 microamps in but that would be wrong right so so uh, yeah now let's do the next one uh, d1 is on and d2 are on and so if both of them are on, give me a second to write in this V. I forgot to write in the V. So, and, uh, so if both of them are on, then this is conducting, right? And it shorts, so everything here is zero volts. Um, so then you're gonna have this current going through here. Three to zero divided by six kilo ohms is 500 microamps. And from zero to negative three over 12 kilo ohms, you're gonna get uh, 250 microamps. So, um, so if this is all shorted, then this voltage is gonna be zero. And this current, well, you have 500 in, 250 out, we're gonna need another 250 here. And it all works out. You can check the other cases when one's on or one's off, and that's how it is.